how to make a very basic dipole style antenna to use with the Blonder Tongue Agile Modulator. This is a very nice piece of rack mount equipment, professional grade. You can pick these up on eBay for a reasonable price and use this as a low power television transmitter in your home so that you don't have to have a direct connection to your vintage set. You can use the factory rabbit ears or a pair of rabbit ears and preserve the vintage look. There are three basic things you're going to need here. Like I said, this is a very simple antenna design. It's basically a finely tuned set of rabbit ears. You're going to need your feed line, and this is just a standard 75 ohm pre-made molded cable. You can pick these up at Radio Shack. It's got an F connector on each side. This is the same same wire you'd use to connect your antenna to your TV or your VCR to your TV. It's just a standard. This is 25 feet in length. And this is the antenna itself, which I've already made a rough untuned version, just crude measurements. What I have here is this is an F female connector that came off of the back of a old parts set and then I have my two leads one is soldered to the center and the other is soldered to the outside take a look at this see that this is just a regular connector out of a 90s TV This is the same connector that's sticking out of the back of the modulator. And this screws into here. The first thing you need to do in calculating your antenna lead lengths is decide what channel you're going to use the modulator on. I'm using channel 3 because that's the vacant channel in this area. And the frequency range for channel 3 is 61.25 megahertz to 65.75 megahertz. Usually channel 3 or, or 4 is a good choice depending on your area. And you can Google the channel frequency correlation to calculate this. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the center between 61.25 and 65.75. I don't have to be exact. Uh, I could say basically 63.5 megahertz would be my center frequency. The formula to calculate the total length of the dipole is 468 divided by the frequency in megahertz which was 63.5 and that gives us a total length of 7.37 feet. And that's from end to end. So we want to divide that by 2 which we get 3.685 feet. And then we want to times it by 12 to give us the inches. So for channel 3, for the mid-frequency of channel 3, each leg of the dipole would be 44.2 inches. Here's a connector end of the antenna. And both leads, I just used a piece of lamp zip cord and pulled the two leads apart. And right here is the F connector. And we have a little bit over 44 inches. I'm about at 44 and a half. But I can trim that down in the fine tuning. It's good to go a little bit long and then tune it down instead of end up short. So here's our antenna hanging from the ceiling. Just have it tied from the heater vent to a nail over here. And you need to
need to isolate this thing with rope so it doesn't touch anything and this is fine-tuning the antenna this is an extremely useful tool to fine-tune an antenna like this this is made by MFJ and it's an antenna analyzer uh, measures SWR it displays the SWR of the antenna and the resistance keep in mind the agile modulator wants to see a 75 ohm antenna which is not really standard most antennas are 50 ohms and we're not going to get that technical in this video of making a, a twin lead antenna with a 300 to 75 ohm matching transformer we're just making a simple one here that's close so we have our adjustment here for frequency you can see as I turn this and what we want is we want this to be down around as close to one to one as possible and we want this to be at 75 ohms and our desired frequency was 63.5 so as you can see I'm way off here 63, 64, 65 starts to come down a little bit around 67 seems to be coming down at 60 so let's go to the next Go back up to 60 here. Seem to have a low around 49. So it seems like the antenna right now is tuned to about 50 megahertz, so it's it's way too long because at, basically as frequency goes up, antenna length goes down. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut an inch off of this thing and I'm going to come back and check it again. What I've done is I took in a little more than an inch here off, about an inch and a half. You can see these are the pieces I cut off of each end. And I tuned the antenna basically up 10 megahertz, just taking that little bit off. So I'm real close here. I'm not getting a good match. I'm getting about 1.5 to 1. But I'm at 75 ohms, around 75 ohms here, so that's good. So I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to my peak SWR to be, my best SWR to be at 63.5 megahertz. So I'm going to take just a tad more off of this thing, and I mean uh, a quarter inch. I ended up taking about another half an inch off. As you can see, I've got my dip here right around 63. So my prime SWR is right in the middle of the channel 3 TV range. So my total antenna length after trimming turned out to be 42 inches per leg. So if you don't have the MFJ and you want to use channel 3, just go with the same thing as I did, uh, except instead of 44, go with 42 inches and you should be close. I'm standing outside the house here uh, with a Sony Watchman, and I have the modulator at minimum power right now 
and I'm about 30 feet from the house and the antenna is inside the house so that I'm at 30 feet through a wall looking at a Sony watch. I'm going to see how far it will go here. It's kind of starting to fuzz out. So that's about the limit right there, and I'm about 75 feet from the house, maybe 80 feet from the antenna. And I get a perfectly good usable picture here at minimum power on this watch. If I was to crank the modulator up to full power, I would probably get a good usable picture 500 to 800 feet from the antenna with the properly tuned antenna. Antenna is everything when it comes to the performance of any transmitter. Your transmitter is only as good as your antenna is. And this is a very simple basic antenna. You could get much more complicated with a directional or better matched antenna and get even better performance out of this.